Fun in picnic. What do children do in the classroom? If a teacher isn't present, they have fun, and if a teacher is present, then they study. But what if the children become bored of their studies? Bunny man, explain this topic to me. Gattu, please, not now. Since yesterday, I'm fed up of thinking about a project of tuition. So true, man. I am also going in a circle around tuition school and school tuition only. Neither am I able to go to play nor am I able to go anywhere else. It's just not you. The condition of whole class is just like that, Gattu. See, everyone is sitting under pressure. No one is in the mood of having fun. Want to see? Wait. Saying this, Bunny called Chinky. Eh, hey, Ching Ching Chinky, where is Donkey? Bunny, please, man, not now. See, Gattu, Chinky doesn't even want to fight. Gattu thought of something and jumped, saying, "No one needs to be tensed. I know you all want to get out of these four walls of the class and want to enjoy. Yes, Gattu. What we will have to do for that? Mm, class picnic. Anyways, our class never went out after the corona." Yay! But Mishra sir won't agree. He has to complete the portion. Don't worry about that. Just do what I say. Gattu told everyone the plan, and Mishra sir came to the class. Welcome, sir. Thanks, kids. But what happened to your energy? Sorry, sir, but we feel that your energy is also little bit down. Yes, same routine every day. Anyways, take out your book. Today we will read poetry, right? Then sir started teaching poetry. The bird brought a grain on its beak. The grain fell from the beak. The children ran to steal the grain, but it became a tree. Bunny, tell me, what did you understand? Sir, the grain had attitude. And hearing this, the whole class started laughing. Oh God, seems like really bad condition. Bunny, stop watching too much reels. Chinky, you tell me. Sir, may I? Yes, got to. Sir, the bird brought a grain for her children from somewhere, to which we call a paddy or a seed. But suddenly, the bird's beak opened and the seed started falling down. Some naughty kids like us were running to catch that seed. Just when the seed fell on the ground. and then a tree grew from that seed the children forgot the grain and started playing with the tree wow gattu well done bunny why couldn't you tell so bunny just stays at home he studies tuition does some extra classes watches mobile then sir how will he able to see the nature wow gattu what an idea children i too have become like you I too have been unable to go out and see the nature for a long time. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's listen to this poem from nature itself. How the tree is made. Means what will we do, sir? That means we will go for a picnic. Yay! And then the next day sitting in the bus, the whole class of Gattu Chinki went out for picnic. Outside the city, near nature, Somewhere there was a small picnic spot in the strawberry fields. There were lush green mountains, cool breeze, and there was open sky all around. As soon as they stepped on the ground, all the children felt an excitement. Wow! What a visual! What a sight! Cool and fresh air breeze blowing around. I I feel like drinking this fresh air. <laughs> Chinky, sometimes it drizzles here. Keep room for that in your stomach too. Wow! Then Mishra sir blew a whistle. On hearing the sound of the whistle, the children started running here and there, falling in the velvet grass. They started dancing, singing, and enjoying while talking with the wind. Kids, are you having fun? Yes, sir. I'm enjoying a lot. Wow, sir! I have seen rain through the glass window many times, but the real fun of rains is being in the rains on the field. Just then, Gattu saw a farmer standing in the strawberry field, and he was calling the children. 
sir. Seems like he is calling us in his farm. Thank me for that. I have booked this whole strawberry field for you. Let's enjoy. Then the children reached the strawberry field. Seeing the colorful, attractive and juicy strawberries, everyone's mouth started watering and everyone plucked strawberry from the plant and started bursting under the teeth. Ah, oh, the fun of fresh flavor is something else. After that, everyone roamed a lot. Then together they also enjoyed some fun games on the hill. Gattu knocks everyone out in the race. Chinky sang a beautiful song and Bunny played the guitar on which Gattu danced. Everyone applauded and joined the function. Let's all have lunch together now. Then everyone opened their own lunch box. Mishra sir's lunch box was the longest and for everyone. I have brought seven different vegetables. Take whatever you like. Gattu Chinky also shared their tiffin with everyone. And then as soon as the lunch was over, everyone rested there for a while in the open air. And then Mishra sir said, Children, nature's book is the biggest of all. It teaches us such things which we cannot learn by sitting inside four walls. Now that farmer has also told you by doing practical that how a small grain becomes a crop. We will learn more and travel more. But always remember one thing. What, sir? Always respect nature. Along with Gattu, all the children listened to Mishra sir and thus the picnic of Gattu's class was very successful. अगर आपको हमारी वीडियोस पसंद आ रहे हैं, तो इन्हें लाइक करें, कमेंट करें और सब्सक्राइब करें।